We're in the demo lab with Lonnie, where he set up a photoelectric effect experiment. He has white light impingent on a metal, and the energy of the photoelectrons emitted are shown on the meter at right. If he puts a red filter in the path, now only red photons can strike the metal, and you can see they do not have sufficient energy to eject photoelectrons. If we go to higher energy photons, say go to yellow light, that's shorter wavelength and higher energy photons, they may be able to eject photoelectrons. And indeed, photoelectrons are emitted, but with a relatively small energy. If we go to higher still photon energy, green wavelengths, that's shorter wavelength still, higher photon energies, we can see photoelectrons emitted at a higher energy. Now we can still go to higher energy photons. Blue photons, photons in the blue region, are the highest energy visible photons, and Lonnie has a blue filter that will pass only blue photons. Putting the blue filter in the path shows photoelectrons emitted at the highest energy. So here's an example of the photoelectric effect. Thanks, Lonnie, for that great demonstration.